I am Vijaya and I am talking to Snehal Batra, Managing Attorney at NPZ's Rare Return Office. Hi Snehal. Hello Vijaya, how are you? I am doing very well Snehal. So, um, uh, you know, Samantha just updated us on the citizenship rules. Uh, but going a little further, what really are the rules for citizenship if someone is married to a US citizen and seeking citizenship? Right. So that is, yes, one of the exceptions to that five years being a permanent residence requirement that uh, Samantha mentioned. So spouses of U.S. citizens have what I like to call the fast track to U.S. citizenship because they're considered special classes of people, okay, under the, um, you know, rules. And so generally, the green card holder has to be a permanent resident for five years and residing continuously in the U.S. for that period. But if you're married to a U.S. citizen, you have the option to apply for citizenship only after three years of continuous residence. So that's why it's a fast track. Uh -huh. And um, there is this misconception that you need to acquire the green card through your U.S. citizen spouse in order to qualify for applying early. Okay, but that's actually not anywhere in, in the regulations, that's not a requirement. So for example, if you obtained your green card through employment, okay, and you can still apply for naturalization based on marriage to a US citizen within, you know, after three years, you don't have to wait five years. Mm -hmm. So that's a really, really nice, uh, nice thing under the regulations. Yeah. But what are those requirements? So the requirement under this process is that you have to be living in marital union with your U.S. citizen spouse for three years. And also, your spouse has for, to be- Excuse, a excuse me, that's years. for three years before the before applying or three yeah. years? So when you get your green card and you want to apply through this fast track method, mm -hmm. if you are married to a U.S. citizen and living with that U.S. citizen, then in for three years, then you would be eligible to apply. Ah, okay. And also, your spouse has to be a citizen for three years. So this seems pretty straightforward when you first look at this, you know, uh, rule, the fast track rule, but we let's dissect it a little bit because if you are not living together, because we do have certain situations that, you know, that's not the case, you're not going to qualify because you have the burden to establish that you qualify under this faster track. So if you're separated, then it's not going to work. If you file for naturalization and you file for uh, divorce during that time, it breaks that marital union. So it's going to be problematic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, you have to show that you're living in marital union. What does that mean in terms of documentation? So when you apply under this uh, fast track, yeah. you have to show that you are living together. So maybe you have. Um, a lease, a deed, you can show uh, joint tax returns, uh, maybe you have children, uh, joint bank account, all of the paper trail to show you and your spouse are living together for at least three years and therefore that qualifies you. Now, uh, Samantha also, also mentioned that you have the ability to file 90 days prior to mm -hmm. that requirement. That also applies for this fast track, but please make sure that you report, you check the timeline of all these other things that we're talking about, living together for three years, and that your U.S. citizen spouse also has been a citizen for that full three-year period. So you don't want to file early, the 90-day early filing you know, availability if you don't meet those full three-year requirements, because otherwise you don't qualify and they will not be able to uh, grant you naturalization through this fast track. Mm -hmm. and then you have to reapply when you meet that, you know, yeah. requirement. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, it's pretty straightforward, but this is sometimes an issue. In fact, I have a client now who obtained her green card, and literally within a month afterwards, her, her spouse became a U.S. citizen. So we have to keep all of those timelines in mind as to when she can apply. So. Uh -huh you know, she can qualify, otherwise mm -hmm. it's a huge waste of time and money. Um, so, you know, be yeah. prepared with these documents. And it's also a good idea when you do get uh, an appointment for your naturalization under this fast track to have your U.S. citizen spouse go with you. Um, you know, most, most of the times they're not going to let you inside when your spouse is going through the exam, but mm -hmm. just their presence there. Yeah. 
gives the officer, you know, in their mind that this is a valid marital union um, because the spouse is there in person. Uh, plus, it's an, it's an exciting day. So mm -hmm. nice yeah, it is. There. But yeah, the yeah. presence means a lot, right? Just mm -hmm. by the presence. Yeah. So thank so, you for that.